A mother's work is never done, and neither is a dairy farmer's. Frank, Annette, and their four boys each have their own role in the family's business and truly enjoy working together as a team. If you look at what my mom does, and she not only helps here with the dairy and everything, but she also like cooks food and, and cleans the house and everything all, all at the same time. And sometimes you wonder how it all gets done, but she always gets it done. So that shows you how, you know, what all can be done, how, how much can be done. I basically, I do all the invoices. I don't check them anymore. We have a secretary that does that now that comes and checks the delivery tickets with the bills. I used to do that all the time. Right now I'm doing more, getting, I'm getting the bills and I check them off if everything is all right. I still look over them. It's not that I just pay a bill like that, but I do all the entering of the bills in the computer and then I pay all the bills when they are due and I uh, do all the deposits and we run reports. I do all the payroll, pay all the employees and keep up keep all the employee files and all that's involved with the employees like keeping all the records and typical day at uh, at Wildcat Dairy starts at uh, we get up at six o'clock in the morning and we have uh, we have breakfast together as a family we we value that quite a bit get the kids ready for school and then at seven o'clock is, is when my day starts here at the dairy and uh, I make my uh, my uh, general uh, uh, checkup on on uh, all the employees that uh, that everything is, is rolling the way it needs to make sure that uh, there is no issues at the feeding station uh, from equipment standpoint employee standpoint uh, make sure all the commodities are there and then uh, start uh, put my boots on and uh, walk the cows check the cows uh, check uh, check the feed uh, make sure I uh, I get to talk to all the employees just one time, real quick, make sure there's no issues, and if there are, they need to be resolved pretty quick. And then uh, uh, move to the herdsman's office, to the computer, look at the data from the previous date, because we record all the data. Cows are equipped with transponders, so they give us a lot of technical data that we need to have to manage uh, the herd. And then uh, from there on, the day rolls on and uh, uh, try to spend uh, uh, the mornings uh, outside with the boys and uh, get all the work laid out for the rest of the day and then try to spend the afternoons in the office. Working together with everybody is, is a, a lot of fun. Um, you know, every now and then we can get Dad to come help us do something. That's a whole lot of fun to get him out there and, and, and work together every day, you know, it, learn something you know that we haven't learned yet or haven't picked up yet off of experience. Uh, that's that's something always. That's a whole lot of fun to do. I think we're very fortunate to have uh, four boys that all have a passion for uh, for the dairy business and and for the animals. Uh, uh, Benjamin, the oldest, he's uh, more of a technician, mechanic uh, part of it, and David, the second one, he's uh, more the the tech guy, the computer guy, uh, the data entry guy, he does, uh, he really loves that. And uh, then we got the two youngest one, one is, is uh, one that's uh, quite a bit involved in FFA with showing cattle and so he's more the animal type guy. And then the youngest one, Daniel, has his little chicken farm and he sells eggs off the farm. So uh, in one way or the other, they're all, they're all involved in, in the business, uh, sometimes more and sometimes less, depending on their other activities at school. And then uh, uh, Annette, my wife, she uh, she does the, she runs the office. Uh, basically, she's the, the chief financial officer. She signs the checks, and so she's in charge of the office and makes sure that the dairy runs very well. Uh, yeah. I guess it, you, you wake up in the morning and, and it's always you know we need two people to go do a job. So you're grabbing one of your brothers or or trying to get get dad to go out there and do stuff you know he has a lot of work to do in the office these days and but you know he'll come out and move cows with us or treat sick cows and we'll always learn stuff and I don't know it's just uh, being there with each other all the time if something goes wrong even my mom and littlest brothers will all come down and we'll have to you know get the cows in in the middle of the night when they got out somehow and stuff like that I think here in um the bigger the dairy is, the bigger challenge it is to get your kids involved in the dairy. It's kind of hard because there is, you have a person for everything and you need to find 
some specific jobs that the, ki that the kids can do. So that's not always very easy. And the bigger you get, the harder it is because you have more employees that will have their specific jobs. The thing is you can have them work with them together, learn from some key employees that they can learn that way, but it's still very, it would, the best thing is if you can work with your kids. I love working with my family. I mean, getting to spend much time with it. And when my bro two of my brothers graduated, it just became a little less with them. But now I take every moment of it. Well, I do kind of the smaller work, like cleaning up some of the stuff around the dairy, making it all look good and helping out wherever they need me most of the time. And I, I, it's really fun to help my, a lot of the times. I mean, unless you get stuck with like a hard job that you have to do 24-7. I mean, still you got to do it. Comanche County traditionally has been a dairy uh, county and, and the people are, are uh, very involved with the dairy business and it's a very dairy friendly uh, community, a very dairy friendly county, very dairy friendly community. Uh, we're very fortunate to have very good neighbors uh, all around us and uh, uh, makes, makes it a lot easier to live in a community that shares the same interest uh, as, as we do. Wildcat Dairy has seen tremendous growth and success since the Voloman family first moved to Texas from Luxembourg almost two decades ago. But one thing that has remained the same is the entire family's passion for the dairy way of life. We can all be involved together. We can all be spending a lot of time together, working together in the, with the cows, Frank with his boys, and, uh, and also for me, just we, are, we have time to eat together for lunch. We have time to all be together. It's not that one works in town and the other one is not coming home. So it's, and we, we, can, we take the time in the evening to all sit together again and have meals together, which I think it's kind of like what I think how it used to be always before. We still try to, to get that going. It's not always easy when the kids are in school on the, on the weekdays, but we still try to do it as much as possible. And I really like it too that Frank and I, we work together on the farm and we are, we are a team together and we, uh, we, we, I try to be involved and know as much as he does. I don't always know everything, but we try to communicate very good and, uh, and that way we usually spend a good, good time together too. Not just private time, but even when we go eat, we might discuss stuff from the dairy, but at least we spend time together and we have the same interests. So I think that's very beneficial. We still spend a lot of family time. Sometimes I guess what they've taught us is you, know, you don't need to go away from work to have fun. It, the fun is all here. It can be a lot here at the dairy. The Voloman family is an important part of their community, from helping with the annual dairy breakfast to buying feed locally and providing close to 40 jobs within the community. The youngest Voloman, Daniel, is even an aspiring entrepreneur, raising and selling fresh eggs. My chickens, I have about, I think I have like 18 like hens and then a couple other roosters. The hens, the, uh, they lay, most of them lay uh, one egg a day inside the nest, inside the pen. I wanted the little baby chicks, so we took them home and I raised them from, I don't know how old they were, I think they started at a week old and I raised them until they were big and started laying them. And from then on, I really got interested in them and so I just started getting more. Every like summer I'd get new chicks, like six or 10 chicks. A lot of the silages uh, are purchased uh, locally. Uh, we purchase about uh, uh, 30,000 tons of corn and sorghum silage a year to feed the animals here on site. And then obviously uh, a lot more alfalfa hay, some straw. A lot of tifton uh, hay is uh, grown locally here on our own land. We don't buy any, we grow that all ourselves. Commodities, they come from 
all various corners of the United States, obviously. But the silages, uh, like I said, half of them uh, corn silage is grown on our facility and the rest we purchase from neighbors. And then they get in return nutrients back into their fields through our manure. And we kind of, uh, uh, I don't want to say it's a perfect trade-off, but uh, it, it, it's an endless, uh, it's an, an endless cycle of uh, nutrients that goes back to their fields as we purchase their silages. We try every year in Comanche to promote uh, the dairy business by doing a dairy breakfast and I'm a big part of that, helping uh, organize the dairy breakfast and making, uh, making that possible because all the people from the community are invited to come over there and it's kind of a way of saying thank you to them from us dairy uh, people for, for supporting us. Actually, we became uh, from, from uh, cattle managers, taking care of the individual animal on a day-to-day -day base, we, we became more and more people managers. We have uh, uh, anywhere between 35 and 40 employees that all have their specific job to perform at, at the dairy. And uh, we deal more with employees now that take care of the cattle than taking care of the cattle directly ourselves. So that is a major shift that has happened for our size operation. Just like many other immigrants to the United States, the Volomans came to the land of opportunity, seeking success, and their hard work has brought them just that. They are the essence of what makes the American dairy industry what it is today. I'm very proud of what we accomplished because we, and I could never have imagined that we would be here at one time like this, for sure not when we were still back home, but then you start, you come over here and you start small the way we had it planned and eventually you grow more, you grow and you grow and you realize, yeah, it's a great way over here, the opportunities that you have over here, we could never have done that, so it's, it's really, and it's a great life. I love what, what I do uh, every day. I, I love to work with the cattle. I don't always get the, the time anymore to spend the necessary time with the animals that I would like to. Um, that is my passion. The, the cattle is my passion. <laughs>